By the way, this is the third time I've taped this because I've been way, way too long. So much information. Let's get right to it. AccuWeather.com meteorologist Bernie Reno. Frontal boundary, Arctic boundary coming south. Ingredient number one. Ingredient number two, storm in California. Ingredient number three, you have an upper low and you have energy on the southwest. This front is the focusing mechanism for this storm. It'll help move right along that boundary. This is, of course, the big part of the storm, although you're going to have pieces coming out ahead of it. And it's then how this system steers this storm. Look at this storm in California. It is weakening. Another batch of rain coming into California, in the Southern California. They're going to get deluged in Southern California, probably some thunder as well. You look at the satellite and you can see what I mean about the concern about these Southwest systems having tons of moisture. It is tons of moisture. I think the models are underdoing that. All right, let's get right to tomorrow morning. The storm in California is now over the southwest. You see this piece? That's what has delivered the Arctic boundary or the Arctic air southward. Uh, and you, here's your um, upper low energy coming in on the southern side that will help steer this storm. Here's what's going on tomorrow. Here's the boundary. It doesn't look too far south, does it? And I, that's been my concern that the boundary is being pushed too far south, but I'm conflicted on it because the reason I think it's too far south is the fact that you have southwest winds aloft, so it's not helping to push it. But at the same time, when you look at the surface map, while you have a big high uh, across the Canadian prairies, you have a piece of this Arctic air coming east, and Arctic air always drills farther than you think, so that's why I'm conflicted on it. Let's go to tomorrow. Um, let's go to Sunday night. Here we go. Here's the uh, California system. Here's the steering system. So now you can see what's going on. Now, how, number one, how strong is this? How strong are these systems? I think the models are weakening this too much. I think it has a pretty good idea with this northern branch. Now, how do they interact? Monday morning. All right, now. You can kind of see you have a piece here, a piece here. What's going to happen is this piece goes away, you see, goes to the north and east. And then you're left with the energy steering back to the west. So right now they're at about the same latitude. So that tells me it's going to move northeast. And, you know, the American model shows this energy moving due east. And what bothers me is when I look at this Monday afternoon, the steering piece is, is out ahead. This is out ahead of this. So that tells me there's room for this to come a little farther to the north. Um, and um, that's the key. Let's look at the models here. Here's the Arctic, Arctic air coming in, and this is a fresh injection of Arctic air. And you can see the, all this green is the bullseye where the model thinks the bullseye is going to be. So the, the American model has the bullseye right in here, right over Philly, Baltimore, Washington, just south of New York City. And it's trying to keep it south of New England. All right. Uh, by the way, I, I think we can rule out a, a big storm. Uh, uh, certainly, I think north of Interstate 80 in Pennsylvania and New York State, but you've you got to keep an eye on New England. So my concern is, is that this system's back here and there's room for this to come farther north. And I think the models will trend that way. The other thing I've been concerned about, there's such a huge, huge temperature difference between a fresh injection of Arctic air coming, fresh injection, and this warm air that we're going to get a lot of precip and a lot of water. And boy, all you have to do is look at the satellite. I mean, look at all this coming northward. Um, now, I want to show you the snowfall map here. Now, what's going on in this area from Omaha, Chicago, northern parts of Indiana, Ohio, your snow is coming tonight and tomorrow with that Arctic boundary coming south. There's going to be a few inches, all right? That boundary then will stall right along Interstate 70, or if the models are right, a little farther south. And then that's where the precip will start to enhance tomorrow as the storm comes out. So it's solid 6 to 12, St. Louis, Kansas City, Indianapolis, central parts of Ohio. All right. Um, I, you know, and then north of there, it's 3 to 6. This is the northern edge. So this will be a combination of once you get in like, uh, like Champaign, uh, north of 70 in the Indiana and Ohio, you get, a, uh, you get some with the Arctic boundary late tonight and tomorrow, and then a little bit tomorrow with the storm coming out. So that's why we have three to six. Now, if the models are correct, if they are, your six-inch line would be more like this. I think still think Kansas City's in it and St. Louis. But it would be more the northern edge of this would be like this. All right? 
and it would be shunted south, um, probably not that far south, but something like this. Let me try to draw it faster here, like this. Three to six would come down in here, and then you would have to worry about one to three in ice. And then your three-inch line would be just around Indianapolis and like this. Not much change, and everything else north of that is fine. So this is going to be a big snow, and by the way, I'll show you the ice in a second. Northeast, I, I, you know, I am farther north than the model, so a solid six to 12 inches, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington right on the six inch line right now, right along the PA uh, uh, Maryland border, Mason-Dixon line, a solid six to 12. Um, uh, northern parts of Virginia, 6 to 12. Now, once you get in Washington, D.C., right on the 6 line, I'm telling you the models suggest that D.C., you're right in it. I'm going a little farther north, uh, you know, 3 to 6 from Pittsburgh toward uh, right along Interstate 80, State College, 3 to 6, 3, 4, 5 inches, right in here, right toward New York City. Boston, I, I'm worried about southern New England because I'm afraid that this system's coming a little farther north. Now, again, the guidance suggests I'm too far north, that it's farther south. But this is what I do believe. And I'm really worried that someone, and I think it is going to be in here, that picks up, there's going to be over a foot somewhere in this 6 to 12 inch band. And right now, I'd worry about it if our... Assuming we have our snowfall map exactly correct, it's going to be in the middle here. Someone's going to get over a foot of snow with this. Now, on the southern edge of this, there's going to be ice and a big ice storm. Right now, we have it all the way back into here. Now, if the storm gets shunted a little farther north, like I'm afraid, this will get shunted farther north. This is a big storm. Here are the accumulations. Look at them again. A, a relative 6 to 12 inches in this blue. All right, northeastern Pennsylvania, three to six. Most of southern New England, three to six. We'll have to see it comes farther north. If you have any questions, you can follow me on Twitter. We'll update this later on this evening.